Hey, Ryan Michael Galloway here with We Don't Need No Stinking Record Company .com, and I've actually uh, I'm talking with somebody who has been involved with the record companies for a long, long time as a, as a session man, and uh, just uh, he's been there in the background, but he's somebody you've heard. I can almost guarantee it. His name is Chuck Rainey, and he's been a bass player for uh, all kinds of sessions, from Roberta, Roberta Flack to uh, Dave Mason to a lot of Steely Dan and Quincy Jones and uh, film and television and stuff like that. So. Um, I guess uh, one thing that's kind of interesting, and I think they're, they're one of the things I, I really wanted to see if I could get your perspective on, if you've observed much of a change, Chuck, and that is the, the record company, the record business, the industry is changing quite a bit. Right now, um, a lot of bands are marketing themselves. Even some bigger bands are firing their record companies and going direct to the public and using the Internet and stuff like that. Um, there might not be quite as big a budgets as there used to be. Um, there might not be quite as large as larger productions, and yet some of these other things like film and television and stuff keep going on. And of course, you're not just traveling around the country, but you're traveling around the world. Um, I guess my first question around all that is: um, Have you seen it change? the way that you're doing stuff very much. Uh, are you still doing business pretty much the way you've always done it? Or has, has it dramatically changed? And how has it changed if it's changed? Well, uh, it, it has dramatically changed. And it's changed in that the artist, um, uh, uh, the artist now has uh, the, the opportunity and the ability to market uh, themselves. Now, of course, that comes with a lot of hard work and people, which is one thing that, uh, uh, too, you, you know, you people start businesses at every level, but then again, you, you know, the most successful business is one with experience. Huh. Uh, one of the hard things to do in this generation is to police uh, whatever contracts are made, in, you know, in every area, because, you know, you got to have a lot of experience on where to go, where to look, how to do record companies, where Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the artists now can do it themselves with the internet. Now, that has changed a lot. And that I'm able to, and I, you know, I, can, I, I know of two or three artists personally that they're able to uh, work, make some money, expose their music, and, and to have an audience without the help of a, uh, a record company. Has it impacted, uh, has it course, impacted you? Hard work there. Has it impacted you as a session guy? Uh, well, of course, the, the, uh, the side man session player syndrome has changed because everybody just about has their own studio in their house. Good point. The way things have gone digital, so like a lot of times people, um, uh, like I do get to do about maybe at least 10 to 15 sessions a year without even uh, you know, marketing or promoting myself that way, and that's usually half that is with old clients, and 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 the other half is with new clients. That they just want my personality like they would any other player. Right. If, if you can just get a Chuck Rainey or Stanley Clark or Victor Wooten just by sending them a track, then that's better than trying to buy them in and put them up and have them do it. Plus, it, you know, it, we work. A, you know, I find that uh, I work a little bit better when I'm here by myself. Working on a project, and I, don't, and I don't have anyone just looking down my throat for what it is. It's easier, also. Cool. <laughs> so, so I think that everybody should just get a grip and deal with where technology is taking it. So you, so, so how it's changed you is not so much how the business runs, but how the technology is supporting what you're doing. Say that one more time. I say, Ryan. I say um, how it's changed the way you're doing things is not so much that the business has changed all that much for you, but that the technology has made it easier. Yeah, the technology has made it very easy. Also, to the business, has changed a bit. You know, of course, that comes with um, uh, baby. You know, the baby boomers that are now do these things, and people look at things a little bit. It's all you know. It, it, it's a very visual world nowadays, mm -hmm. um, and uh, technology has made it. I'll put it in that sense. There were a lot of people, a lot of promoters, or marketers, or managers. You know, they have to 
they have a chance to really look at a performer or a performance or a group before they commit themselves. Uh, and that's very, very easy nowadays because everybody's got a CD. Yeah. The guy next door has got a CD, and he's a plumber. <laughs> um, and everybody makes videos. Of course, uh, you know, the, the business as a whole does stay the way that it is and that you've got to sort of kind of like go where people are pissing in the same pot, if that makes sense. Uh-huh. <clears throat> That's usually in New York, L.A. Still, although there are other areas that are popping up where, uh, you, you know, you have to make yourself available for someone to make some money. You know, you still need PR people. Right. Uh, you still need radio. And so, you know, musicianship, artistship, if I can use that word, personality, character, uh, the social, uh, uh, you know, the same social, uh, being social, I'll put it that way, That that's part of the business, and it still is, in a way. Gotcha. Just making the product now is a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's got a studio. All right, so I, uh, I'm going to cap that. I think we've got enough room for at least one more post. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ryan Michael Galloway. I'm with Chuck Rainey, iconic bass player, and... Uh, Of course, I'm with We Don't Need No Stinking Record Company.com, and we'll be back.